Hey guys, long time no see. I know a lot of you are wondering why I haven't posted a product video since before SHOT Show, and you're probably also wondering what am I going to be doing about these new restrictions on firearms content that YouTube dropped about a week ago, Monday. Believe it or not, those restrictions are the least of my problems right now. Part of it is because I've gone through my channel and my content itself is not in violation of any of the restrictions with the, with the exception of maybe five or six videos that I deleted just because I did not want to get into a technical argument with a YouTube reviewer who doesn't know anything about firearms to, to be able to explain to them, no, this is what your policy says and this is what my video does. And none of the videos that I deleted had very many views at all. They were all older videos and uh, the world is not a lesser place without those videos. It doesn't matter. It was an easy decision because none of us are going to be leaving YouTube simply because things have gotten harder for us. I mean, it's a free platform. I don't pay them a dime to be here. Whereas Vimeo, I have to pay for the bandwidth I use. And that's a fantastic thing. And it's the place where eyeballs that will not go to full30.com to watch YouTube videos will go and see my videos. Over 90% of the views that I get on all my videos come from Google search engine results, come from YouTube suggested videos. And neither of those things will get me views on Full30. Neither of those things will get me views on Vimeo or wherever else I might also host my content. And that's really what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my content up a bunch of different places, not just here on YouTube. Oh, that reminds me, the best place to keep up to date with what I'm doing is with my mailing list is twangandbang.net forward slash sign up. Doesn't matter what YouTube does to my channel, doesn't matter what Facebook does to my page, I control my mailing list so I will always be able to contact you and tell you what's going on with my channel. And I've got it linked in the video description just to make it an easy click as well. But I am very active on Facebook and to a lesser extent Instagram. They have their own problems, Second Amendment as well as other issues, but both of those places have thriving Second Amendment communities that I enjoy being a part of and I'm able to be way more active those places than I will ever be able to be on YouTube because I don't have to make a big video in order to participate on those platforms. And really, the changes that you're going to see to my channel, which there will be big changes to my channel, will have nothing to do with these new YouTube restrictions. They have everything to do with what's going on in my life right now, which is why I haven't been able to make a product video since before SHOT Show. And I've been meaning to make an update video like this for a bit now, but I've struggled with knowing where I was going to draw the line on what I would share with you. It's not as much a privacy thing as it is everybody has junk going on in their lives and you don't necessarily want to hear mine. If you don't want to hear the junk that's going on in my life that's going to change this channel, stop right here. Uh, if you want to know what's going on, I'm, I'm happy to share it with you. And it comes down to this. My daughter, Cuter Shooter, who's been in about half a dozen of my videos, is 13 years old. And that itself brings a lot of social drama, but she's got more to deal with than your average middle schooler. When she was five years old, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And that's an autoimmune disorder. It's not from eating crappy foods or anything like that. We don't know why, there's no family history of it, and that's the case for 95% uh, of type 1 diabetics will have no family history of, of type 1 diabetes. But her immune system decided that the cells in her pancreas that produce insulin were foreign invaders. And so it killed them off, and as her pancreas tries to repair itself even to this day, her immune system just keeps killing off those cells. So her blood sugar is 100% manual. Her body does zero blood sugar management. So whatever her blood sugar is at the moment, it's due to our planning, it's due to her eating, it's due to our dosing strategies. And that means that 24-7, 365, we have to think about her diabetes. We have to think about her numbers. It never stops. And I've shouldered as much of the burden as I can, as I could for her. 
That's why I put on 40 pounds from, from the stress, from the interrupted nights of sleep. And uh, last year was fantastic. I was able to knock 30 of those 40 pounds off. I was able to get to the range two, three times per week. But when I was at SHOT Show, the wheels came off the bus for her. She hit a very common point for type 1 diabetics, especially type 1 teens, where she was just done playing by different rules than everybody else. And so she started eating horrific foods that her friends would bring to school. And part of what happens, again, this is super common, is she would feel so guilty for kind of falling off the wagon that she, would, she wouldn't dose for it. She'd be like, forget it. No, I, I didn't just do this, blah, 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 like in a state of denial. And of course, it made her blood sugar really, really hard to manage because also she wouldn't tell me what she ate. And, and this was at, at the start of the SHOT Show. I almost had to come home early from SHOT Show, but it's been a very time consuming, very emotionally draining process for all of us, for the whole family. And my daughter's not in trouble. No type one diabetic deserves to be in trouble for failing to support themselves with this really, really tough burden, especially teens. Um, and she's doing a whole lot better now but part of what we're having to do to help her is switch schools. And that's gonna be a really difficult process for us. Um, right now we're doing all the interviewing and things like that, but the problem with her existing school is that there's zero restriction on eating. Kids can eat whatever junk food they want, they're doing it all day long, and then they got teachers that give out junk food as rewards for like completing a quiz and stuff like that, which is horrific. I hate that as a philosophy in the first place. It has nothing to do with diabetes. But she herself has said that it's just, it's just too hard to not participate in this world that surrounds her with all this horrific eating. So that makes us especially proud of what she's been able to accomplish the first year and a half she's been at this school. But we need to change her environment. and. Um, Long story short, I just, I'm not going to be able to get to the range as frequently as I used to, as frequently as I have been able to over the past year. And so I'm going to be doing maybe a gun and silencer video one or two times per month instead of one or two times per week. Instead, I've got to focus my product videos on things like this sub one crossbow from Mission crossbows that I can test and evaluate right here in my backyard. This is my backyard for those of you who don't know. I love it. This is where I live. And uh, because I just I can't leave town. I need to be able to be here to support my kid when she asks for my help at school. That's one change you're going to see. Another change you're going to see is a lot more political blogging because ironically this is linked to YouTube's new restrictions. It's not the restrictions themselves or YouTube's response, but it's the fact that the political environment in our country right now with regards to the Second Amendment is at a point where voices like mine need to start speaking again. We've got the angry gun owner side of videos covered. We've got that covered. But there's another area of the playing field that needs to be covered, and that's that area of the playing field where people who do change their minds about the Second Amendment, go to think about this. And I know my videos in the past do well on that area of the playing field because I get, I still to this day, get private messages from people saying, you know, I watched your video on the National Guard and, the, and militia and the Second Amendment and I never thought about things the way you present it and you actually changed my mind. I get messages from people saying, your videos are the first ones that I've been willing to share on my Facebook page. I get messages from people saying, your video on whatever is the first video that my dad would sit through. That's, that's a huge compliment. And that's the kind of video that I actually like making because that's the way I am in, in person. When I talk about the Second Amendment with people, I know that I can shut people down and make them defensive super easily. That's, that's not hard to do. The tricky thing is having a conversation with somebody who doesn't agree with me, but 
might have enough of an open mind that if I get them to listen to me, I can influence them. Those people are out there. We know this. Every time you look at a poll with regards to gun control, it changes. It flips up and down. But the majority opinion might change from pro-gun control to pro-gun rights back and forth, depending on what's going on in this country. Those people, not the people who are die-hard gun enthusiasts like myself, not the people who are die-hard gun controllers, that's the people whose minds change from moment to moment in this country that I'm making these videos for because I want to be the thing that changes them back to, you know what? Gun control isn't gonna solve our problems. So actually before all this YouTube stuff came down, I bought a studio to set up in my office with black screen, white screen, green screen. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet. I've been playing with the lighting. That's the hardest thing to get right so that I can make these videos 24-7, 365 without worrying about the weather, without worrying about lighting, because I know for this video, like I'm gonna be going from light to dark because the sun is moving and these, the shadows from these trees are moving across from me. Those are, those are the things that have always complicated me being able to make the videos that you see. There are days where it's too sunny for me to get a good video back here. But like, th that's partly why I'm just sucking it up and I'm making this video. So you can see like the challenges that, that face a channel like mine that do videos the way I do it. And uh, so anyway, there are gonna be big changes that come to my channel this year. I'm hoping to be able to make as many videos, if not more videos than I used to make. There's gonna be a lot more political content that I know many of you aren't gonna wanna see, but I didn't get a gun channel and then become pro-gun. It was the other way around. I was a staunch supporter of the Second Amendment first, then I made a channel about it second. And now is a time where I need to be making videos in defense of the Second Amendment. But I'm still gonna be making videos on guns, on silencers, on other gear that I think will be of interest to you. I really do appreciate the support that you've given me, even if you decide, you know what, it was a fun ride, but here's where I get off. For those of you that do stick around, as always, I'm gonna be making videos that I think you're gonna to wanna to see, including my upcoming video on this Mission One crossbow. I do appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.